dear students in this session i will discuss about an aquifer aquifer is a large body of permeable material where groundwater is present in the saturated zone it is a geological formation that is water bearing or saturated with water and is capable of yielding sufficient quantity of water for exploitation aquifer serves as a transmission conduit from storage reservoir it transports water from recharge area to surface bodies of water and other collecting devices good aquifers are those with high permeable uh, permeability such as poorly cemented sands gravels and sandstones or highly fractured rock large aquifers can be excellent sources of water for human usage next is aquitard aquitard is a saturated strata which yields in appreciable quantity of water compared to an aquifer aquiclude an aquiclude is a saturated bed formation which yields in appreciable quantity of water and does not permit any appreciable leakage an impermeable layer of rock that does not allow water to move through it some shales for example have such low permeability that they effectively form an aquiclude aquifuge a mass of rock matrix which neither transmits nor stores water in significant quantity is called an aquifuge <clears throat> aquifers can be of two types one is confined aquifer and the second one is unconfined aquifer first one confined aquifer if the water within an aquifer is confined that is held under pressure by an overlying impervious strata the aquifer is known as confined aquifer the confining bed has a significantly lower hydraulic conductivity than the aquifer artesian aquifer is a confined aquifer developed in suitable geological situations where the piezometric surface is above the ground water level a well in such an aquifer flows without pumping the imaginary surface to which water rises in well tapping the artesian aquifer is known as piezometric surface now we shall discuss about unconfined aquifer if the aquifer is exposed to atmosphere or possess a free surface open to the atmosphere it is termed as unconfined aquifer there will be a water table in an unconfined aquifer sometimes called water table aquifer the term phreatic aquifer is also frequently applied to denote an unconfined aquifer unconfined aquifers usually receive recharge water directly from surface from precipitation or from a body of surface water which is in hydraulic connection with it and the next one is perched aquifer a special case of an 
unconfined aquifer is the perched aquifer that occurs whenever an impervious layer of limited horizontal area is located between the water table of a phreatic aquifer and the ground surface. So let us see the confined aquifers. Look at the screen. In the diagram, the confined and unconfined aquifers are shown. Here you can see the recharge area. The water enters into the weak zone or fractures in the rock and the you can see the water table water uh, ground water is getting recharged by the this recharge uh, water through the recharge areas and here you can see the flowing artesian well in the valley portion you can see the topography left side this uh, the peak uh, the it is in higher altitude and here it is in valley portion artesian well in the valley portion the aquifers are highly saturated and this confined aquifer you can see the confined aquifer this artesian artesian well is entered in confined aquifers so the artesian well yields water well and naturally this will ooze out the water will ooze out there is no need of uh, uh, pump to draw the water naturally the water is coming out from the well is called as artesian well and above this confined aquifer confining bed is there in between confining confining beds the confined aquifer layer is available and above this confining bed unconfined aquifers are there unconfined aquifers are not uh, charged recharged one so here you can see the water table is at higher level and the these wells are not yielding much the this well is coming under unconfined aquifer so the water yields yielding will be less in this water this well and this is also artesian well and uh, it is connected to the confined aquifer so this is also yields water good water and perched aquifer first means only limited quantity of water is available and this it's very limited water so this is about the aquifers thank you